Hey everybody, welcome back to the Cloth and Paper YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna do a weekly plan with me in one of our redesigned weekly inserts. So today we have our vertical weekly undated inserts in the redesigned version. So this is what the undated version looks like. So the only real difference is you don't have your monthly calendars and your days of the week are not numbered. So a couple of reasons that you might choose undated inserts over dated inserts is if you're just trying out the layout for the first time and you wanna see if it works for you. That way you don't have to commit to the full year's worth of inserts. Another reason that you might wanna choose the undated version over the 2021 dated version is if you like to use multiple styles of weekly inserts in your planner. So for example, maybe this works great for your weekly work tasks or if you're a student, maybe this layout works really well for you, but you might also wanna supplement your weekly work tasks with a schedule layout where you can plan out your week chronologically depending on that specific week's schedule. So these inserts are just weeklies. They don't come with any monthly overviews or calendars. They just have your weekly spread. And each weekly layout is exactly the same. So up here at the top, you have a blank weekly box. If you wanna list a focus or a quote or put in your weekly or daily affirmations in this section, you can really use this for anything that you like and you can switch it up each week. And then of course, right below that, you have your top three priorities for the week. And then the rest of the week is just a blank lined layout. So you have Monday through Wednesday up on the top and Thursday through Sunday on the bottom. And then there's a line above each day of the week where you can plug in the date for that specific week. And really quick before we get started with our planning, I just wanted to show you guys a quick size comparison between the personal size inserts and the HP mini inserts. So these are the HP mini inserts. These are disc bound system um, and these are for the personal rings. HP mini size is a little bit larger than the personal size. It's just a little bit taller and wider. And then here's a size comparison of the HP Mini to A5 size. A5 size is definitely a lot bigger than the Mini HP. If you find that A5 size is a little bit too big or if personal size is too narrow for you, HP Mini is a great in-between size and it's really easy to set up a DIY planner or notebook. So I'm gonna go ahead and plan my full week on these inserts. You guys can see just how much you're able to fit on these HP mini inserts. Um, and the pen that I'm gonna be using in today's video is the Kukuyo Mi gel pen. This is a 0.5 millimeter tip gel pen and it just writes really, really nicely and smooth in your planner and has a really comfortable grip. So here's an example of a full week planned out on these inserts. So the first thing I did was go ahead and number the days of the week. Up here at the top, I just added an inspiring quote for this week, but like I said, you can do a number of different things. And then I went ahead and listed my top three priorities for this specific week. And then I also created this color coding key so I could easily distinguish which items were work-related, school-related, or personal. I just wrote in everything that has to get done. I used my color coding key to classify each of the groups of tasks that I have for each day. 
And then if there's any time specific events or appointments, I just highlighted the time. And then anything that was tentative or could be moved to a different day, I just wrote on a paper page flag. So if I have to reschedule this or if I wanna do this a different day, if I have more time in my schedule, I can remove these and switch them to a different day. Anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're interested in purchasing the undated version of these inserts, there will be a link down below in the description box. If you guys have any questions, please leave those in the comment section and we will see you guys in our next video.